In this video, we will talk about how you can make a forget password system on C Sharp Windows form. First of all, I run my project and show you how is it working. From here, start project. And here we enter email. If you enter a wrong email, it will show a message. This email does not exist in your data. When I enter send, this pop-up displays email has been sent. Click OK and let me check my email. You can see here I have received a new message. Open it and you can see a new code. Copy it. Let me minimize it and paste it here. If you enter a wrong code, for example, I remove 0 and click next step, it will display a message code doesn't exist. I correct it and click on next step. This next step has been enabled. Now you can reset your password. Now I will download and set up my complete project. Before to download, create a new Gmail account and go to its setting. Select forwarding and pop IMAP. Enable IMAP and save changes. Now go to this icon and click on manage your Google account. Go to security all the way down. On the option last secure app access. Turn on allow access. Now you have set up your email. Now go to the link which is given into the description. From here you can clone or download your project. Download a zip file. And I downloaded it into drive E and uh, practice. Open and save. Now my file has been downloaded successfully. I will go into my directory. Now I will go into the e drive and practice. Right click on the downloaded file and extract here. This file has been extracted. First of all go to the folder. Now open forget password ms access file. Make sure you have already installed ms office. Close it, enable content. Here you have to enter your receive email in which you want to receive code. I want to receive a code on technoport2 at gmail.com. Control S for save and close it. Go back and open your project. In the project, first of all, connect the database. For that, click on View and click on Server Explorer. Click here and change it from Microsoft Office database, browser database in e drive practice this folder and then select ms access file open it click on text connection connection has been succeed click ok now you have connected your database click here and copy connection string from here control c now go to your form1.cs 
राइट क्लिक एंड व्यू कोड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सिलेक्ट ऑल द कोड इन बिटवीन दिस कोटेशन कंट्रोल वी फॉर पेस्ट here you have to enter the password of sending email and here you have to enter send email address and also add it here control v here you have to enter receive email now all done let me check is it working or not email has been sent and you have received a email which has code minimize it and paste it here go to next step and change a password i choose 789 789 and change it password has been changed successfully now if we go to the database now you can see the password has been changed thanks for watching this video if you like this video click on like button and subscribe our channel